Today I'm going to show you how to homebrew the Nintendo Wii without an SD card. All you need is an internet connection. So we're going to go into Wii options in the bottom left, Wii settings, and the first thing you're going to look for is the version of your Wii. This needs to be 4.3. The, the letter doesn't matter because that's just your region, but it has to be 4.3. As you can see, mine's 4.1, so we're gonna go ahead and update it. I'm gonna go two pages over, Wii system update. And if you, ha if you haven't set up your internet connection before you try to update, it won't work. So click I set, accept, and then this will update. And if you're updating it and it's taking a while, don't sweat it. The Wii came out in 2006, so it takes a little longer than what we're used to now. Alright, the update's done. It took about 8 minutes or so. I'm just gonna click yes, it'll bring you back to the menu, and then we'll meet back in the settings after you do this. Okay, we're back in the Wii settings, and as you can see, we're at 4.3, so we're ready to go. So you're gonna have to go over to internet connection settings and then pick the internet connection you're using with mine's wired one and you want to change settings go one over two over three over to auto obtain DNS from here you're gonna click no go to advanced settings and then punch in these numbers All right, these are the numbers that you need to have in your DNS settings. They're the same for primary and secondary, and you need to make sure there's periods in between the numbers, but not at the end. So after you have these inputted, click Confirm, Save, and then it'll test the connection again. This might take a minute. All right, it was successful. When it goes to this, make sure you press no, because if you try to update it while you have those DNS settings changed, it, it won't let you do the exploit. So after that, you're going to go back one, back two, all the way to this page, the internet page, where you can click on user agreements. It says, would you like to use the Wii Shop channel and Wii Connect 24? Click yes, even though none of that is even running right now. Nintendo shut it down click next and this is this will launch the exploit so once you get to this screen make sure you do not press anything don't click I, I accept or do not accept it'll take anywhere from one to two minutes and I've never had my Wii remote stop while doing this but it may happen and just be cautious of that and then restart and try again but otherwise you can let it sit and wait and it'll move on all right it's ready and don't worry this is normal it's not doing anything bad here we this is just the exploit at work and give it a second and we'll get to this screen so this is just a, a warning, never pay for this software, blah, blah, blah. Just wait a few minutes and one will pop up and then we'll get started. So click one to continue. And now we're in it. So this is where you download the homebrew channel. You're going to press A to continue. You're going to skip over boot me because you only can download that onto an SD card, but we're not using an SD card here. So we're only going to install the homebrew channel. Click yes, continue, and this is pretty quick. It'll it'll install, success, continue, and then you're just gonna back out. Click exit, exit, and it'll bring you back to the system menu, or sorry, to the homebrew channel, and you know now it's running. So we'll exit to the system menu, and we'll see that it is an app now on the system menu. And just like that, your Wii is now homebrew. 
So from here you can you can load up a USB stick and add games and emulators and all that jazz. I'm going to be making videos on that as well. So if you'd like to watch those to see what kind of stuff you can throw on your Wii, make sure you subscribe and stay notified. Hey, that rhymes. Nice. All right. Anyway, that's how you homebrew your Wii. Super quick. Doesn't take long at all. All you need is an internet connection. No SD card needed. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your homebrew Wii.